Hello, today's video is another in my series of highlighting different aspects of Access Forms and today we're going to concentrate on highlighting sorted and filtered columns in continuous forms and you can see examples of those in the two screenshots there. There are two articles to go with this. The first one, Sort Continuous Forms, focuses on the sorting aspect and the second one, Highlight Filter Columns, focuses on the filtering. But we've got both of those combined for today's video and one app that covers both of those. Now the start form for this leads you to two different forms, one with sort buttons and one with transparent sort buttons and they are almost identical in terms of functionality, they just look different in appearance. But if we take these in turn then we've got some student data, it's been automatically sorted by surname followed by forename and both of those columns have been highlighted in yellow and you can see up here we've got the sort order summarized as well in the same colour. We can change the order of that by clicking on the header and when we do so we get the column that has just been sorted highlighted and also an arrow to indicate the fact that we're sorting in reverse order, descending order from Z to A. Reverse that back again, change that there and again for here you can see the summary information changes we do so. We can also sort by other columns as well. If we do so they take priority so we're sorting by year group and then by surname and forename. Let's reverse the sort order and we can also sort by tutor group etc. Let's do some filtering now and let's filter so we've got anything other than year 7. So we've got years 8 to 11 and the filtered column now is shown in green and also the filter criteria is summarized here up here. Year group is not equal to 7 or it could be null. None of them are null in this particular case. Let's filter for female only and let's filter for anything that has got O2 in the date of birth. So it could be O2 there or there or it could be 2002 here and we can reverse the order of that and now we are sorting and filtering in some cases here. Let's close that form and now let's have a look at the other one which is identical in functionality. The only difference is instead of having sort buttons at the top here the buttons are transparent. They're still buttons where we get the functionality that we need for this but it looks more like a standard continuous form but again if we sort by a particular column it still shows the highlighting and the red border around there exactly the same as before and again we get the summary here and the summary of the filtered columns as well in each particular case let's have a look at the code for this both these forms are identical in terms of functionality, so we only need to look at the code for one of them. When the form loads, remember when it loads is sorted by last name, surname and forename. So the first thing on initialize form is it sorts out the order, string select, string order by, combines that for a get record source function which basically will tell it what the SQL is for the form and then we having got the record source then it knows that it's sorted by surname and forename and so it highlights those with back color of pale yellow which has been defined elsewhere in the database. It also will clear any other information in terms of coloration and so on that was on any other column. When we then add any sorting we get another function comes in called get order by. If you click on the heading we then run a function, click on there, we run a function get order by surname, click on this one get order by forename, get order by gender and so on. So that get order by field name then what this does is it puts together the SQL for the data source, it then looks to see if there's any filtering, it then looks and checks what needs to be highlighted and also checks the summary information for up here. It then looks at the sort order for the data. It sees whether it's surname, forename or surname descend, descending, forename or any other possibility. Uh, it then combines that information and summarizes that. Let's go back to form view here. 
it summarizes that in the heading area up here. We then combine that to get the record source. We then will highlight in yellow anything that appears in that string order by clause. Highlight that in pale yellow. Let's clear, go past this and then it will add to the sort column heading that image up arrow down arrow both of which are in the image gallery for here so it just adds that to the caption there having done the order by we then do the sort by in exactly the same way it then looks to see what is the sorting in terms of the SQL for the data source and it will then put that information in the heading as well and for colouring will be done in green and for the colouring that is done in a module here check filter format form as form it then goes through looking to see what the filter is looking to see what fills fields are part of the filter for that and then colouring those in pale green as you can see here and that's basically about it so what we're doing and is a summary is that we are using the record source of the form to determine a string for the sort order and also another string for the filter clause as well and we're then coloring those fields in yellow or green depending on whether it's a sort or a filter going back to here then Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, as always, add a like, leave a comment, suggest topics for future videos, and please subscribe. I'll see you soon.